like Halloween. Halloween. This few weeks leading up to Halloween I'm going to be posting a few makeup tutorials on just different Halloween looks that you might want to do and there'll be looks that you can create just using makeup. I haven't used any special effects, contact lenses or face paint. If you think that those things are going to help you know create your look and kick it up a notch then go for it. I'd say definitely add them but these tutorials are just designed to help you create something with you know what you've got in your makeup bag and if you feel like you've seen this intro before uh, I'll be using the same one for each of the videos hopefully I'll have about two or three looks maybe more depending on how many I bang out this week basically don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave comment below what you're going to be for Halloween tag me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter if you've recreated the look Today we're going to be doing this look and I hope you enjoy watching. <clears throat> Hey guys, so as you know, today we're going to be doing the vampire look and I'm going to start out by priming my eyes with the NYX White Eyeshadow Base as I've been doing for this video and the past few videos. Um, it just seems to work really well for priming the eyes and all of the eyeshadows that I put on top really stick and come out really bright so I've just been using that a lot lately. So I'm just pressing that onto my eyes having a bit of a dance around <laughs> and then I'm going to move on to the Morphe 35C palette and setting it with the white eyeshadow and I've got to tie my hair up so I'm just doing that to get out of my way and then I'm just setting that base and I've been using the same technique to prime my eyelids quite a few times recently as you know, if you've been watching my Halloween videos. So now I'm just taking the red colour from the Morphe 35C palette and an angled blender brush. And I'm just placing that into the crease. I'm being really careful with this. I am going to be putting it all over the lid as well. Uh, we could be quite messy with that in terms of how far it comes down onto the lid because I will be placing a dark colour all over the lid as well. So I'm just making sure that's really well blended out and then building up the intensity to where I want it to be. As this is quite a dramatic dark and smoky eye look, I am also bringing it quite far into the inner third of the eye and sort of down the nose a little bit and then winging it out a little bit as well on the outer third. Now I'm using the MAC Fix Plus to get a more intense red onto my brush and then pressing that onto the eyelid. And I'm putting that all over and making sure that it blends in with the blending that we've done just above. Now I'm taking the slightly darker red colour and I'm putting that through the crease to intensify the outer third of the eye. And again blending that in with the bright red that we've put down and blended out. Next I'm adding a little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm putting that just into the lash line, pressing it in and then blending it out. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now using my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve, which is the black, to further intensify what we've done there and smoke out the lash line. So I'm just drawing it onto my lash line and then I will be smoking it out using a brush, a firm blender brush. And this just gives more drama and impact to the shadow that we've just put on. And I'm sort of blending that darkness upwards with the shape of the eyeshadow that we've done. Just to darken it up a little bit on the outer corner. So I'm just layering on the red, purple and black colours until I get it to the colour that I would like it to be. Which is sort of like a dark smoky berry eye. Now I'm just going to do the other eye. So next I'm going to move on to the face and I'm taking the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer and evening out my skin tone with that. Then I'm going to take the Benefit Professional Primer and put that in my problem areas such as my nose and my forehead and I'm also sort of using that slickness to clean up around the eyeshadow. Next I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm taking that on my damp beauty blender and just blending that all over my face like how we normally would. Now I'm taking my Audrey Morris Concealer Pot in the palest shade and I'm using that to brighten under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my chin and my forehead and also a little bit around my nose. And again blending that in with my Beauty Blender. So far it's all been pretty normal routine stuff but you'll see later on how I change it up a little bit. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Eraser Concealer and putting that under the eyes for a little bit of extra coverage and then re-brightening with that Audrey Morris Concealer. Now I'm taking the Kat Von D Lock It Under Eye Setting Powder in Petal and I'm using that to brighten under the eyes and set. So I'm baking, but I'm not going to leave it for too long. So I'm just putting the bake in my smile lines and under my eyes and under my contour where I would usually get creasing and then brushing it away almost immediately. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm taking my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Vintage and a small angled brush and I'm going to be drawing veins all down my eyes in my under eyes and I'm starting off with the main veins making them quite squiggly and then I will be connecting a few of them making them look a bit more realistic later on you can skip this step if you're going for more of a glam look but I thought that it kicked the look up a notch and made it look a little bit more scary but it still looks glam by the time I'm done with it. Now I'm moving on to my Morphe palette again in the red and dark purple colours and finishing off underneath the eyes by blending that underneath the lash line. So I'm blending out the red and then I'll be putting the darker purple colour and a little bit of black right by the lash line. Now I'm taking my Colourpop Cream Gel Liner to intensify that again, the same that we did on the top. So I'm just placing that and then smudging it out. Now I'm taking my Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Boots, which is the pink colour. And I feel like putting this in the waterline made me look a bit more dead, like my eyes were aggravated, which goes with the veins and, I don't know, just a bit more scary. 
Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Sculpt and Contour Kit and contouring like usual. I'm only going to be putting a tiny bit of bronzer um, because we don't want to look too bronze, we kind of want to look dead and very hollow cheeks. So I'm mostly using the contour shade. Putting that in all the usual places. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Brow Expert Kit and I'm taking the pomade and then sculpting out my brows like usual and I'm making them quite precise and neat for this look. And kind of arched. Next I'm taking my House of Lashes Iconic Lights to glam up the look. And I really like how they look feathered out with this look. Um, and then I'm taking my Dust and Dance Multicoloured Star Glitter, which is called Kaleidoscope Stars. And I'm only taking the red ones and I'm placing them in amongst the veins that we've just put under our eyes. And I'm only placing like four on the under eye on each eye. And that's just going to glam up a little bit more. So now I'm taking Hemisphere from the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette, which is one of the palest shades, and I'm just going to be putting that in all the usual places. And now we're moving on to the lips. So I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede in Vintage and also Kitten Heels. And I'm just using a sponge, which was very cheap from the 99p store. Um, it came in a bag of like varied sponges. And I'm just stippling that all over my face and also drawing some blood drips with the darker colour. And I'm just going back and forth with each of the colours, trying to get it how I want it to look. Now I'm taking the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo, which is the black one, and I'm putting that all over my lips. You could probably stop there, but I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Vintage again to create sort of an ombre lip. And then I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Lip Amplification Lip Gloss in the shade Conviction, which is a dark purple colour, and I'm putting that on top. And then I'm just going to sort of smudge it out and then reapply how I think it should look. That's how it looks. Then I'm taking a little bit of black and sort of creating some shadows around the mouth on the blood drips on a small flat brush. And I'm also using those colours as well to intensify the veins and make them look a little bit more 3D. So this is the finished look and I hope you like it as much as I do. I really like the way that it turned out with the veins and the blood and everything and just making it glam also with the stars and everything and the lashes. I just love how this looks. I think it's great for Halloween if you want to do something a bit more glam but also kind of scary. Let me know what you guys think of my take on a vampire look. I know it's been done and everything, but I like the way that every time someone does it, it's a little bit different and they put their personal style into it. Please like and subscribe and turn the notifications on if you'd like to see more from me. Um, I've got a few more spooky tutorials going up for Halloween. As always, please tag me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The links are up in the corner if you recreate this look because I'd love to see what you guys do with it. This is just my cat. <laughs> and yeah, see you in the next one.